Okay, what I have is a uh, realistic patrolman. It's uh, set up for AM. You can hear the uh, single side band in the background squawking. Now this radio does have a BFO feature, but it really doesn't work. Uh, so to be able to get uh, the sideband on this, what I have done is preset my signal generator up to the 455 frequency. It's set for band, band B, and band B right there is a tick for 455 kilohertz. I have uh, uh, will turn that on. I don't have any kind of modulated tone. It's uh, uh, just a carrier that will be sent out. I have it attached to the antenna lead, which is picking up. So let's turn this on. So now I could tune up and down the bands with that 455 frequency going into the IF acting as a uh, beat, uh, beat frequency oscillator and would be able to uh, tune in single sideband conversations up and down the 80 meter band. Anyway, just a quick demo of how to do a cheap BFO if you've got a signal generator. If you uh, take a look at your radio and you know the IF frequency, uh, the secondary IF, uh, that's probably the best way to go. Uh, also, if you've got a, uh, uh, a wave cancellation uh, beat frequency oscillator, or not beat frequency oscillator, but uh, uh, some kind of device that's also uh, that would help prevent that from coming in. You may want to uh, throw your signal directly into the Sackett IF stages, either through the oscillator tube or the <coughs> Sackett IF can, by just simply uh, taking your your wire, creating a loop or or what they call a dummy load. I think it's an RMA or something along those lines, uh, with a capacitor or a resistor and uh, wrap it uh, around your IF can and give that a try. A couple different ways. Anyway, thanks for watching.